Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Beetle Moment Marketing, the podcast. I'm here with a very special guest who I'm so excited to have on the show, Melanie Touchstone, the Director of Digital Marketing for the Metro Atlanta Chamber. Hi, Melanie. Hi. Thank you so much for having me on the show. You're welcome. I've been really excited to get you back on on the podcast. Um, Some of the listeners may or may not remember Melanie and I had a podcast back in 2010 through 2012 called the Digital Dive Podcast. We were little babies and it was We were. We were babies. But I think, you know, I I have not gone back and really listened to them because it's crazy to hear the sound of your own voice. But um, when we were talking yesterday, I I do think probably some of our stuff still holds true. um, Some of our recommendations at the time. Yeah. We had episodes like Facegram when Facebook was buying Instagram and, you know, all the hubbub about like that. So it was fun. Things happen. Life moves on. People get new jobs. And Melanie is now doing incredible stuff marketing the city of Atlanta, which I would love to talk with you about this. I love Atlanta. I lived there for eight years. Um, I may end up coming back. There's so much great stuff going on there. And every time I talk to Melanie, I learn something new about PR and branding and just startups, tech, business. There's so much capital in Atlanta. There's so much going on. It's really fascinating. And so I wanted to talk about what makes your job really unique, Melanie. Uh, Basically, most of us promote products and services, but your product is an entire city. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. What does this actually entail? Like, how is this different from tourism marketing, for example? Yeah, sure. So it is. It's it's unlike um, you know any job I've ever had before because, like you said, you know I'm not marketing you know like a software or really you know my job is B two B and B two C and um, it's really about celebrating and sharing the story of Atlanta. Um, It's different from tourism because our, we have an amazing um, group here, the Atlanta Convention and Visitors Bureau that really focuses on tourism in Atlanta. Um, My job with the chamber is really about promoting Atlanta in a way that is more than just coming to visit or repeat visiting or attractions and stuff. It's about um, really pushing the culture and the quality of life and things like that that make Atlanta a wonderful place to live, work, and play. We want businesses to move here. We want people to move here. Um, and we want to show the world just why Atlanta is, you know, it's here, it's now, it's next. Atlanta is now, hashtag, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we are. It's it's such an amazing city. And, um, you know, the, the challenges with it, though, are that this is kind of a different territory. You know, I don't think I've ever gone to a marketing conference where any – speaker really quite can speak to what applies to me because it is daunting when you're not selling shoes, you're selling an entire 29 county region. And, you know, in doing that, you, you aren't just speaking on behalf of a brand, you're speaking on behalf of a city. So, um, you know, it's, it's a completely different beast and you have to do it very carefully. So what does that entail? Like, how do you do that carefully? You're always going to upset somebody. You can't please everybody. And there are so many different factions. Like you have so many different yeah. groups and communities. Right. Yeah. And you know, that, that, you know, is what makes Atlanta so unique. So, you know, the thing about um, doing something with a city is, uh, well, first off, it's been happening for hundreds of years. Cities have been trying to promote themselves, but pretty terribly. Um, and a lot of that is because what happens is that you've got a lot of people who love their city, you know, that are in marketing that sit around a room and say, okay, how do we tell everybody what, how great the city is? Okay, let's come up with a tagline. Let's come up with a logo. Let's come up with all these things. And they push them out there without considering the fact that the Atlanta that they know is not necessarily the Atlanta that their neighbor knows. And, you know, what makes Atlanta so great is this amazing mosaic of people and each one of their experiences is different from your own. So if you try to tell them what their city is, if, if you tried to tell me, you know, this is your home, you know, there's a lot of identity in place. And so you can't just prescribe that to someone in a way that's authentic. It's very inauthentic and people will absolutely, you know, revolt against it, especially if you're something like a chamber, which, you know, has traditionally been, you know, we're changing it a lot, but, you know, traditionally is just a lot of, you know, 
old white men. And I'm excited to work for an organization that, you know, is, is really progressive. But um, so the way that we kind of approach this now is we stopped and said, okay, we can't do taglines. We can't do brands. It's not authentic. It's, you know, it's a bunch of people sitting around the room trying to tell you where you live. Instead, we're going to start with research. So what we've done is a lot of stuff from Net Promoter um, to Net Promoter to um, we actually worked worked with Georgia State and have created like this own social listening platform. And the whole idea is to uh, collect information on how people uh, on basically on Atlanta's reputation and not just the good stuff, but the bad stuff too. What does somebody in Barcelona think about Atlanta? What does somebody in Norway think about Atlanta? What does somebody in Charlotte think about Atlanta or Austin? Um, and taking, yeah, taking an honest look on why they would recommend us, why they wouldn't recommend us, um, what those perceptions are. And then we can kind of work to, uh, to take those perceptions and take the things that are really positive, like the fact that we are, you know, the center of the hip hop universe, um, and you know, lift right. those up and, and movie, celebrate those, right? Yeah, There's yeah. So we production going on because of absolutely. The, what is the yeah. tax breaks for production yeah. of, in Georgia? So Atlanta is, in Georgia. Atlanta is the number one film location in the United States. Wow. Um, yeah. So we've passed Hollywood. You know, we've That's passed so cool. New York. Yeah. So it's yeah, it's really. Cool. And Atlanta is changing so quickly too, in in ways that are amazing. Um, but we also have to work towards responsible change. Mm -hmm. So taking that research and that data, um, what we've done is then said, okay, well, what are the common themes here? When people are talking about Atlanta, what what are we hearing across the board? And then how do we put that out there? And again, if I I could speak all day long about why Atlanta is great, but I'm just one person and not everybody's going to relate to me. So what we've done is actually this, this kind of ambitious thing. We started working with the Brookings Institute, which is amazing. And they connected us with Barcelona and Oslo and uh, a bunch of other cities who are all in the same boat as us. They all want to promote themselves. And we decided that what we were going to, going to do is rather than try to tell Atlanta's story ourselves, we were going to enable the people of Atlanta to tell Atlanta's story, to tell their story. So we established something called the ATL Brand Box. And you can actually, you can visit at atlbrandbox.com. We actually just launched it. It's still in beta. Um, so it's, uh, you know, still working out the kinks. But basically, it's a collection of messaging that has come out of this research. It's, it's a completely license-free photo and graphics library that anybody can use. You can print stuff, put it on a billboard. You know, it's nobody owns it. Everybody owns it. It's completely open source and is free to use for anybody working to promote Atlanta. So oh. let's say you're, you're a startup, you know, and you, um, you know, you don't have a marketing team. You don't have a graphics team. You don't have, you know, money for a ton of stock photos of Atlanta, but you want to represent the city that you're in, you can go to the website and pull photos, pull messaging, um, quotes from leaders from Atlanta, stats about Atlanta. It's a, it's a really cool thing. And, you know, I'm excited to see where it goes because it's, it's pretty unique. Oh, that's so cool. So is it sort of like not just an unsplash or a Pexels repository of stock photos, but right. also like you mentioned, there's stats and quotes and facts. Yes. Yeah, that's absolutely. Great. That's very yeah. empowering for you to give. Yeah, Nothing yeah, that's, that's, that's and that's the point. You know, um, you know, they've done something similar in Oslo and uh, one other city that has has done, but nobody has done it the way that we have. And you know, it is one big experiment. You know, we are taking risks of you know putting amazing photo, like having our photographers go take, you know, amazing shots, having our artists design things and putting them out there for free without attribution or anything like we cut every boundary between, you know, you that would come between using, you know, the, the, the assets in there. And then the stats, you know, one day we kind of, we looked down the hall and realized, oh my God, we have an entire research team here. Yeah. Why aren't we using that? Why aren't we using that in um, you know, why aren't we sharing this information beyond the economic development circles? So all of those stats and stuff, they're searchable. You can type in like culture and you can get 
you can get quotes around Atlantis, or I'm sorry, stats around Atlantis culture. You could do it in the quote section and get Jermaine Dupri's, you know, testimonials from Jermaine Dupri on why he loves Atlanta. So, so could you find out why is Cabbage Town called Cabbage Town? Things like that. So I would absolutely love to get there. You know, we've started right now with data and rankings and stats, but I have very big dreams for this. Um, You know, we're still in beta, but I, you know, I also want to point out that it is a regional thing. It's not just about the city of Atlanta. It's about our 29 county region. So it's our lakes and mountains and, you know, going south, we've got just such such beautiful places, um, you know, because those are just as important. And so stats around those, and we're working with all of these counties and cities in the region, and they're all putting in their own stuff, which is, which is super cool. That is so neat. Well, we actually have to wrap, but I will put a link to the ATL brand box. Is it .com? Mm-hmm. ATL brand yes. box.com in the show notes. And Melanie, tell people where they can find you. So you can find me, I'm on Twitter, um, at Mel Touchstone. You can, uh, you can email me from the ATL brand box. I'm on LinkedIn. Um, so all of those I'm on Instagram, Melanie Touchstone. That's perfect. And Melanie is a really powerful public speaker. She knows her stuff. Thank you. Very poised, very together woman. And Melanie, you do speaking on various digital marketing topics in Atlanta and elsewhere, right? Yeah, yeah. So I've been, been doing a lot of that recently. It's funny how they all kind of group together sometimes. Absolutely. Well, ATL Brand Box sounds so neat. I can't wait to check it out. And thank you so much for being on the show and sharing a little about marketing Atlanta as a brand. Yeah, thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. 